This was an awful uh, shambolic uh, bill and such a waste of parliamentary time and effort last night in the convention centre at the cost of that place as well is shocking. But this government is totally clueless, totally out of touch, and the Green Minister is pandering to the tree huggers. So maybe for, for the benefit of some of the people watching who wouldn't really know what this bill was about or what the, the, the argument is over, would you maybe be able to give a brief explanation? Well, uh, there's quite a lot of people in, in rural Ireland, uh, depending on, on felling their, for, uh, their forestry. And, um, and quite a lot of businesses um, are, are, are dependent on uh, the supply of timber. Um, there's been um, a number of appeals. Um, uh, objections actually uh, by maybe a serial objector um, which is costing uh, maybe millions and millions of euros and will be costing up to 500 jobs in, in my own constituency in, in South West Cork as GP Woods who have been um, excellent employers and excellent environmentalists down through the years and now running out of timber. They're importing it, imagine. That's the, that's the, the footprint we have now today is importing timber. It's, said, it's outrageous. Now there was 20 two pages of amendments last night put before the Minister. And while I did vote for the bill, because to me any bill is better than no bill, but it certainly was a, it's a very, very weak bill that was put before the doll last night. And with 22 uh, pages of amendments, some of them extremely genuine. They were a genuine their attempt to help that Minister and they rejected them out of hands. It's been a bad night for democracy, it's a bad night for rural Ireland because if this continues the way it is it'll be, it's coming to the point that builders cannot get timbered for roof for person's house. That's where we're at. There's 100,000 homes uh, being held up at this present time with the backlog of, of appeals that are uh, not being processed by the department. Uh, we've had two things that happened last night in Ordal. We had the fisheries bill uh, where, where, where our teacher uh, signed a statutory instrument and, and it cost uh, penalty points for every fisherman in this country. So Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael and the Greens are turning their backs on the people of rural Ireland and it was shown very well in that doll last night by their voting and their carry-on. And that's not surprising, but just, just to add, Michael mentioned serial objector. We proved last night, I quoted from a PQ that I got in July, where 202 appeals went in, 86 of them by one person. That was in 2019. So far this year, there's 320 up to July. I think there's some near 600 now. So Richard Mike Barrett and others living in the uh, leafy suburbs of Dunleary here, who never handled an axe, who never walked a chainsaw, who never probably did any physical work or both saw, but he, he was trying to say that this wasn't happening. One person uh, having 86 appeals in, they found a loophole in the, in, in the law. So we wanted to block that loophole by saying that there's a deadline of eight weeks uh, to be, for a decision and appeal, and if it's, a, if it's an oral hearing, then there's another deadline of eight weeks, because people have invested in forestry 50 years ago. It's overripe now. They're waiting, in many cases, to pay their bills. They're waiting for nursing home care for maybe a husband or a wife or a father or a mother. And they can't get it because that's fair deal is also denied to farmers and to small business. So this was an awful uh, shambolic uh, bill, and such a waste of parliamentary time and effort last night in the convention centre at the cost of that place as well is shocking but this government is totally clueless totally out of touch and the green minister is pandering to the tree huggers and pandering to people who want to i to want to object for the sake of objecting i have no issue with a person within the cartilage or adjacent to a forest being planted or felled having some input and having the right to object and a, and, a, and a decent, proper object on anybody for that matter, but not if you live 200 miles away. And we wanted a, a 2,000 euro fine, one of our amendments, uh, sorry, 2,000 euro fee for a person that lives 200 miles away that's not materially affected in any way. So, I mean, we didn't get past the First Amendment, so it's a shame on the Greens, shame on Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael. Uh, of course, environmentalism is important, but to what extent do you think uh, belief in radical climate policy had had to do with uh, this bill? I, I, I think it has absolutely uh, nothing to do with the bill. I think actually it will be an injustice. Um, they're, they're not, uh, the, the Greens uh, with Fine Gael and Fine Fall are in no way, shape or form going to meet any targets that they've set. I think it's the, the setting of 8,000 trees, they'll be talking about 2,000 this year. And what's happening here is people know um, who once were delighted to be uh, sowing forestry are beginning to ponder and wonder is this the right thing to do.